Steve Schwartzman is the director for Tropical Forest Policy at the Environmental Defense Fund. He believes the problem is that dead forests are a lot more money than living forests. Whether it's clearing the forest for soybeans in the Amazon or cattle or industrial logging for pulp and paper or oil palm in Indonesia, all these things have a, a big market value. Um, the forest provides enormously important services, climate control, rainfall control, home to a host of, uh, of, of species of plants and animals, um, and many other ecosystem services that don't have a value in the market. Well, how do you make them more valuable as they are? One really promising approach that's beginning to show some results is the idea of allowing countries or states or communities that can protect forests and can reduce their uh, greenhouse gas pollution emissions from deforestation below historical levels to get credit in carbon markets um, for those reductions of emissions. I'd like to ask you about Haiti. Um, it's one of the worst uh, examples of deforestation. Less than 2% of the country is now covered by forest. It used to be something like 60%. Is there a country or a region that's doing a better job of, of balancing deforestation, and what country or region is the worst? Well, in terms of overall deforestation and terrible ecological consequences, I think we've seen it in, uh, in various places. The reason, as I understand it, that China has such a massive national reforestation program is that uh, the Chinese government and society decided that, uh, that having cleared all that forest was causing real immediate problems in terms of soil erosion, um, silting, of, uh, silting up of uh, rivers and so on. I think we've seen Costa Rica has come back from having a great, a large majority of its forest um, uh, cleared 30, 40 years ago to now um, having restored a good, a good part of that. And it's, and it's doing very well, particularly with ecotourism on that. Brazil, I think, is, a, is another terrific example. They are, so their efforts in reducing Amazon deforestation at a national level and in the Amazon, by the Amazon states, uh, uh, it's really made them a, a world leader. We have people watching from all around the world. What can individuals do to help fight deforestation? Because a lot of people may think, well, it's beyond me. You have these big, huge companies working with governments. But can individuals do anything at all? Well, individuals can drive policy change. There are many major corporations in the consumer goods forum now led by companies like Walmart and Unilever that have made commitments to get deforestation out of their supply chains by 2020. Well, consumers can, uh, can hold those companies account for, to account for those, uh, for those commitments. In particular, they can ask their policymakers, their elected representatives, to be dealing with the root causes of deforestation. Uh, we all need to be doing our part to reduce this greenhouse gas pollution that, that causes climate change, and that's something where citizens can make a huge difference. Steve Schwartzman, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us for our Insight segment. Thank you, Elaine.